Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Oxier. I write strange stories for strange children, and I'm here to talk to you about my new book, Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster. If there's anything that my readers know, it's that I love monsters. <laughs> sweep is set in the world of chimney sweeps. It's about an 11-year-old girl who is a chimney sweep, and she finds a monster living inside a chimney, and they become best friends. What inspired me to write this story? Well, of course all my inspiration always comes from reading because I love reading and I was deeply inspired about chimney sweeps from one very famous book. Maybe you've heard of it? No, it's actually not this one. This book is full of lies. The book I read was a much older book, much weirder book called The Water Babies. And The Water Babies talks about what it was like for chimney sweeps for hundreds of years because a long time ago, uh, Chimneys were too small for adults to clean and you had to clean the chimneys by hand and so they used children. The smaller the better. And the work was absolutely brutal. It was painful, it was hard, and it was deadly. And when I started reading about that I realized I wanted to tell a story about my own chimney sweep. But you know, also with some monsters in it. <laughs> Is this book based on a real live chimney sweep? Well, my main character, Nan, is actually my, kind of my own creation, um, but there were thousands and thousands of kids just like her. However, one of the characters in the book, a boy named Newt, his life was based on a real live chimney sweep, a little boy named George Brewster. And I sort of patterned the whole book uh, and the events of the book around what happened to that boy. Oh my goodness, I learned so many crazy facts while learning about chimney sweeps, but my absolute favorite one that I couldn't put in the book because this book is set in England instead of America, my favorite fact was that in America, on farms where they couldn't get chimney sweeps to come, what the farmers would do is tie ropes around geese and then drag them up and down the chimneys to clean them out. It worked like a charm and the geese almost always died. Like I said, it's a dangerous job. So when I was a kid, like many kids, I wanted to be a million different things, but one of the first things I always wanted to be was an architect. And that was wonderful and sweet because this is a book where characters are jumping from rooftop to rooftop all across this old city. And so I got to spend all of this time researching how these rooftops were built and shaped. So it turns out what I loved to do and talk about when I was a little kid is actually something that came into play for this book. So the advice I would give any writer, whether they are young or old, is finish what you start. The two most powerful words you will ever write in your life are the end. Everyone has ideas, anyone can start a story, but it's only a writer who can finish a story. And I should be clear, it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be perfect, but until you've written that first draft, you can't really start your journey of making it better and better and turning it into the thing that's living inside your head and your heart. Well guys, that was great. Thank you so much for letting me talk a little bit about Sweep. If you enjoy kind of serious, dramatic, heartwarming stories like Oliver Twist or Charlotte's Web, but you know, wish they had more monsters in them, then I hope you can check out Sweep. <laughs>